I just put in my earplugs in. It's only like 7.53. I just wanted to quickly record this dream. I'm like, oh, I don't think I can remember any dream. Oh, now I remember. Uh, I don't know all the details, but I was in my condo that I owned, and, uh, and I could hear people trying to break in. Like, I heard people were working with security and, and the condo board or whatever, or, and they were going to break into my... Like, I, I would hear it down the hall. They're coming. I'm like, oh, so I locked it, and then I ran back into my... You know, ran back down the hall and into my condo, but I'm like, they're going to kick the door down... I think they eventually did, and then and there was my friend Kevin from university and some other guy. Who was it? Just some bully guy, and the two of them were, like, beating me up. Like, the guy, the, the bully guy was like, here, he's like a football player, and he's like, here, th throw the ball, and he's like, catch the ball, and he's throwing me the ball, like, because we're supposed to be practicing football or something, but he kept, like throwing it close up in my head, like in my head, in my head, like he's trying to kill me. And then Kevin was doing the same. And I went to Kevin and I was like, why are you doing this? Like you were my friend. I did nice things for you. Why are you trying to kill me? And then, you know, why would you bring this guy to my house to, to try to kill me? Like, what kind of person are you? Uh, and then it was a lot of that. And then I was like running around, people were just trying to kill me. So I guess where all that stuff comes from is, well, I know like security broke into my condo 10 years ago and robbed me. And then also this woman last night was saying mean things, messaging mean things on my Facebook Messenger. I don't even know her, but she's been messaging me mean things for years. And um, for some reason, she replied to my story repeatedly saying, you know, you're, uh, you know, you're, you mean things like about the way I look. Um, and saying that I'm mentally ill and that, you know, nobody will ever love me and that I was lucky that any women even tried to help such a mentally ill person and, and, uh, and uh, you know, the only reason people think I look, if they can't tell how old I am, is because I have no hair. And, uh, yeah, so that's very cruel. Uh, I guess that's the downside of the internet and, uh, and opening up to people. You let crazy people attack you. Uh, all right, I'm going back to sleep now.